with my child. That's weird, bro. Going on because this is making me uncomfortable. Now, if you guys don't know, there is a guy, a white guy, named Kelpie, Lil Kelpie. He calls himself Kelpie the Pimp. He went on No Jumper saying that he was some pimping, you know. And uh, he got... He got chopped up. He got roasted to oblivion. He was called multiple bitches. He was called the F word. And he came back to No Jumper twice. The second time he came back to No Jumper, he got physically assaulted by a rapper named Almighty Suspect. Now, the fact that... He allowed that to happen the first time. All the name calling, all the disrespect, and he didn't walk off. That says a lot. The fact that he came back to go viral again, that says a lot. Now, do I think it should have happened? I don't think it should have happened on camera. I think it was great podcasting. The numbers went up. They got a million views in like a day. They're probably at like four million right now. But at the end of the day, again, with this with this Charleston White Kanye West mentality, bro, it could have been, there were a, a different strategies that could have went on that didn't happen. Different methods. There could have been a lot more, but you took the bitch way out. You knew that this was going to happen. I don't like when he lies. There's a lot of lies coming out of his mouth. I don't like when he lies. The reason that he was on that Kratom, I don't even know what the, what, what Kratom is for real. Um, he said he takes it so he doesn't have to do his opioids or opiates, two different things. And uh, he wasn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't want it, bro. If that was the case, then you would have came ready. You would have let the interview go a, a little bit longer, a lot bit longer. Explained things, promoted things, because there was no guarantee of what would have happened to you. You don't know if that man would have let you back in his on his platform, for real. Because he got rid of C-Mac, and C-Mac was doing numbers. I don't know if he did more numbers than Kelpie, necessarily, but that wasn't smart to gamble with that, because like another YouTube slice in for the piece said, bro, you don't put out any new music. You didn't put out any merchandise. You haven't done any of that. So you're really just going on there, saying your name, putting this information out there, promoting the little girl's OnlyFans. And, bro, she's trash, bro. She's trash. That's a fact. I'm not saying it because other people said it. I'm saying it because it's a fact. If you Google trash, her name is going to pop up, bro. It's going to happen, bro. I have several dictionaries in my home. Biblical dictionaries, Spanish dictionaries, English dictionaries. Before I made this podcast, I looked at all of them. And when I looked up the word trash, her face was next to all of them, bro. That's a fact. The other Spanish dictionary, Basura, her name was in there with her face. It's a synonym and a noun as well as a verb. So that's not a good look for you, bro. It was um, It was a bitch move. It was a bitch move because you could have got him fired. I mean, that was his own decision to to get up and hit you in the face all those times and you did nothing. You tried to swing back. That's not true. You were incapable of reacting at all because you were high. Because you wanted to be high because you were scared. That's what happened and say it like that. Next topic, man. Uh, we got... Oh, T.I. T.I. snitches on his dead big cousin. At 